Hey players, in this video, we're breaking down the game of Kevin Durant, and I'm going to give you some tips and some pointers that you can add into your game that will help your game immediately, and we're going to dive right in. So this is part of my five clips series on the bottom left right there where it says lesson. I'm going to give you one thing per clip that you can think about and add into your game. Now let's watch this first clip against the Bucks. It's a side ball. It's a kind of a higher side ball screen. Obviously, KD gets in right here, gets into the paint on two feet. Now, one of the things that he does really, really well is he's able to get in the paint, get in that mid-paint area, and get on two feet and play under control. There's a lot of you players where were you, if you were in a situation like this, you would come off of that ball screen, and you would just be attacking as fast downhill. You would be sprinting. You'd be dribbling as fast as you can, and you would be out of control. You'd be running into the defense. What great offensive players can do and what KD does right here, he could have the screen could have been tighter right here. But as he comes off this screen, see how he gets on two feet, gets under control, and hits that slight fadeaway. Now, a lot of you are not going to be able to or – this is not going to be a shot you're going to go to very often. KD is, you know, six foot eleven, seven feet, and he has that high release point. But you can still get in on two feet. And even if you're six three, if you have a height advantage, or you're six five, six six, you have a height advantage. This is still a type of shot that you can hit getting off two feet. So if you're a three, if you're small forward, or you're like a big two guard or just a two guard. Playing off of two feet in the paint is a very important skill that you need to work on, especially going with jump stops. So now we're looking at this clip against Charlotte. And a situation that happens often in games, obviously, is fast breaks. But there's a lot of times where a lead defender in transition, so Bridges right here, where these types of defenders, they are just going to try and make a play on the ball. They're going to aggressively sprint at the basketball and try to grab it. So you need to have a couple of no-reach zones where the defenders can't reach and get the ball. So you can either go a high rip right here and step across the defender and then finish on the other side. Or you can dip your inside shoulder to the defense, protect the ball on your outside shoulder, and then go up for a layup. You could go into a post-up. You could go into a short pull-up. But the last thing you want to do, and players, I see a lot of you make this mistake, is you're dribbling in, and then as you go up for the layup, the basketball is exposed right in front of your torso and, or right in front of your waist area, and then the defense is able to grab it. So just make sure you're protecting that ball by ripping it high or using your shoulder or some other strategy. Now, a good thing right here. Very, very difficult shot right here. Very, 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 very few players can hit this shot. But what happens here is something you can still learn. So James Harden and KD, obviously, they're going to be defended by different positions. And then they get into a switch. And Kevin Durant and James Harden notice both right here immediately that this is a mismatch. Players in a game, if you ever are on offense and defenders switch to where like a center is guarding a point guard or a a tall, slow player is guarding a fast guard, you have to be able to exploit that mismatch. Most players don't have the ability to do that. So they identify this mismatch right here, and then this is where Kevin Durant is in his kill zone, which is that mid... Well, he, he can really score from all areas of the floor. But when I say kill zone, those are the spots on the floor that you need to say, I can always get to this spot, whether it's the elbow, short corner, wing top of the key, you know, left-hand drive, right-hand drive. What is your kill zone? What spot on the floor or what offensive package do you have that you can always get to and always be effective? Obviously, you want to score from all three levels and all over the floor, but if you do have a go-to move or a go-to zone, then you can just build on top of that. Now, this, this move, um, this type of screen right here, do you know what type of screen this is called? I'll show you. You've got two screeners, screener here, screener here, and then Kevin Durant is starting basically under the rim, and he can go off either way. Do you know what it is? It's called a zipper cut. No, it's not. It's called floppy. Sorry, I just confused it. Zipper cut something else. This is called floppy action. It's a common NBA action. This right here, Kevin Durant could go off either way, but he decides to use Blake Griffin's screen. And I want you to notice 
that Kevin Durant, even though he is one of the best scorers, isolation scorers of all time, players, all of you still need to realize that maybe, for most of you, more than half of your points are going to come from screening, cutting, using the offensive action, and it's not just going to be off the dribble step backs. So if Kevin Durant has to get points off of screens and by using teammates, then you're going to have to learn how to use screens and use teammates as well. Now let's break down the angle of this cut too. So once he runs his defender, great screen right here. Once he runs his defender into the screen, notice how he is going straight towards the basketball and he's meeting the pass. He could have run straight out to the three-point line, but then that gives the opportunity to the defense to jump the passing lane and get an interception. So by curling back towards the point guard, curling back towards the ball, he's able to shorten the distance of that pass. And then, of course, being as tall and smooth as he is, he knocks down the shot. Now, this one is going to help with your IQ and decision-making. So I'm calling this, I'm not trying to be a hater right here, but I'm calling this an Instagram move, okay? So look right here, he does like a bicycle step or whatever you want to call it, a hop step. But he does, this is a lot of dribbles right here. He goes with this, this type of move right here, one dribble between the legs, two dribbles, one more dribble, another dribble. So he goes four dribbles and marking in right here is what six foot ten six foot eleven so he goes four dribbles he does all these dribble moves and he still only gets to a contested mid-range shot now for kevin durant best scorer in the world one of the best scorers in the world that's fine he's playing at the nba level but for a lot of you players you got to realize that oftentimes y'all are making these kind of moves you're doing this type of stuff you know between the legs again two three four five dribbles and then you're dribbling into a contested jump shot. I'm not saying that's bad because there's always gonna be possessions in basketball where you don't have a perfect shot. But you do need to realize that if you are a six foot guard or you're six four, you're six five, and your defender is two, three, four inches taller than you, or you're just a short player, like these types of shots are not going to work for you. You're gonna to have to prioritize scoring in a different way and in a more efficient way. Now that's not to say, you know, I never want to hold players back. You want to add as many different moves, ball handling moves, scoring moves to your game as possible. But when it comes to playing in the game, you want to be efficient, simple, and effective. Which leads me into this move right here. And this has three bullet points for this one. I usually try to have just one. But when you're training, you know, you want to be able to have a low rip where the basketball goes from like your rib cage down to your knees and you're going with that low rip, but you also need to have a high rip. So look how KD rips the ball right here. He rips it over the defense. So he goes from basketball starts, let's see, kind of at his waist area. So on his, and also look how the basketball is away from the defense. The basketball is not right out in front of the defense. It's away from the defense. Then he goes with a high rip over his shoulders. That's, That's something that players you need to be able to add to your game is that high rip. Now the one dribble, watch how much separation he creates with this one dribble. Just by doing that one dribble, look what the defender has to do. The defender has to turn and run, and then as that defender is running away from Kevin Durant, that's creating that space, he gets on balance, and then he goes up into his jump shot. So players, when you're thinking about what types of shots and what type of scoring opportunities do you need to be able to create? You need to think way more of this type of clip. High rip, one dribble super fast, create space, quick pull up. A lot of you need to prioritize this type of stuff over these types of moves that we just watched in the previous clip. Notice I said prioritize. That doesn't mean you never do something like this. It just means you wanna play as simply and efficiently as possible. Now I have a training platform, it's called Optimal Basketball. It covers every single skill in basketball at an advanced level. So if you're looking to take your game to the next level, I have everything, drills, skill breakdowns, workouts, developing your own personal player development plan. 
everything that you need is on that platform. If you go to the first link below, you can create a free account. There's no card required. You don't even have to cancel because it's never going to charge you on the free account. You can keep the free account forever. But if you want to upgrade, there's something called the Elite Experience. It has over 300 drills and skill breakdowns in every single skill in basketball. So take this video, for example. This is about maybe 2 to 3% of what's in the entire Elite Experience. Um, I teach you how to train, how to think the game, how to play efficiently. And it's going to, whether you're high school, college, or even a pro, there's stuff in there that will help you. Because I've been a college coach, I've been a high school coach. I've worked with, um, I've helped with training NBA players. I'm not an NBA trainer, but I've helped NBA trainers. And I've also worked with NBA coaches as well. And that platform just has everything basically I've ever learned onto there to help you um, improve your game. So check it out. Go make a free account. If you want to upgrade, it's really going to help your game. But other than that, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too because there's a lot more content like this that will keep helping you with your game. So thanks for watching and let's keep getting better.